this in here? I mean, let's just take a look. Look at this. This is the toy. I'm, I'm dieting. Look at this crap. It's it. Drumsticks. Bloody, I don't know. Bottles of vodka, that ain't me. <laughs> that wasn't supposed to be there. Apple pies, ice cream, burritos, crap. I don't buy any of it. I don't eat any of that stuff. Do I, babe? Never. Never. No. I was definitely not finishing off their drumstick last night. Never. No. I'm always excited to go out there and fight for the UFC, you know, to represent, you know, such a fantastic brand, you know, still after all the time I've been involved with them, I still, it's, it's still a, it's still an honour. Yeah. Well, unfortunately, Callum goes on the forums all yeah. the time. He's always on the underground and he's like, Dad, look at this. And I'm like, Callum, stop reading that stuff. You're going to have a very low opinion of your father if you're reading the forums. No, I, I, I don't like to hear them boot you because they don't know what you really like. And that frustrates me. And what am I really like, Rebecca? <laughs> Come on, don't be shy don't just because there's several cameramen in the house. Well, you're a father, you're a kind father, and you're a kind-hearted guy, and they don't they don't get to see that side of you, and that frustrates me a little. Oh well, never mind. <laughs> oh, this is why I don't get like that because you always go, oh, oh whatever. I don't think you'll get food. I don't know, maybe I'll, I mean, I, 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 let's be honest, I generally tend to get food. Yeah. <laughs> I generally get food. Anyway. Um, but yeah, it's water off a duck's back. <laughs> Right, I gotta go. Okay, so what time will you be back? I'll be back, uh, oh, I don't know. LA traffic, it'll be a nightmare. What about um, dinner? Um, I've gotta go shopping yet, so anything you want, I can do. Ch chicken and salad, that's about it. Chicken and salad, boring. Chicken and salad, no carbs. Okay. All right, see ya. Good luck. Yeah, will do. Uh, sorry, yeah, thank you. Kids! See you later. Very, very proper. Thank you, sir. Darling, take care. Have a great day. Have a wonderful, productive afternoon. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right, then. Ellie and I are actually going shopping. Oh, you're going shopping, are you? <laughs> it's a tough life they live. Honestly, what are she you doing? She needs clothes for school. Where are you going? Where are you going? You're going to your friend's house. You're going shopping. Great, great. Buy me something nice. <laughs> All right, guys. Bye. See ya. Being a fighter every day, especially in camp, every day is a struggle. But there's, you know, there's a business side of things as well. So, you know, there's ups and downs. I'm here to do a job. I've got a fight coming up soon, a big fight. I've got to leave all my problems behind and focus on the task at hand. And that's what I'm here to do. Do you want a shadow box around yet? I'm in here three days a week. Great set of guys, you know, very knowledgeable. Um, it's nice to always be able to come in and you know, different guys to move around, different styles. You know, I think in the past, I've been guilty of using the same guys to spar with all the time. So, the sparring gets very predictable. You know, if you're with the same guy all the time, he knows what you're gonna throw, I know what he's gonna throw, and it becomes repetition. So, you know, mixing it up really is key. Sean? I don't really go in to smack talk my opponents. I'm just confident in what I do. You know, and people misconstrued that as insults. Kung Lee, I've got nothing against the guy. I found him to be a very nice guy, you know, but uh, that ain't gonna matter on the night. Listen, I have to win this fight, and whether or not he's a nice guy, whether he's the biggest on the planet, it's irrelevant. I have to win this fight. It's nothing personal, it's all business. I hate sparring you, Mike. This fight for me is all about me. The biggest opponent I have is myself, so I've gotta go out there and prove to myself that I'm still one of the best in the world. I've got to prove it to the UFC and prove it to everybody that I've been fortunate enough that supported me throughout my career. Thank you. Regardless of whether it's Kung Lee or not, I'm just focused on me, my performance and my fight. Let's do it again. Train, eat, sleep, train, eat, sleep. It's really a very glamorous lifestyle. That's good, that's good. Lean into it, hey, follow through. That's good. I'm a better athlete now than what I've ever been. Now come over the top, yeah. there, that's better, that's better, that's better. Really improved my explosive power, muscle endurance. I turn up, I do as I'm told, and I push myself to the limit. 
Two. Come on, get it now. Get it, get it, get it, get it. And rest. Nobody trains as hard as me. And I don't do it to be the most conditioned guy. I do it because it might mean so much to me. I've got to show up on weight and in shape and ready to fight. My job is to be Kung Lee. And I truly believe I have the potential to do that. Good.